Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bell tassel. To make a bell tassel you will need a cord. This is a kumihimo cord made with 16 strands. You will need yarn for the tassel. I used 80 yarns and for the bell part you will need two different colors. I used dark blue and light blue and you will need a third yarn that you will carry. I will start with the dark blue yarn. I will make a magic circle. And then I will make eight stitches in the circle. Then I will put a marker in the first stitch so it's easier to find it. Then I will take my cord and put it in the circle. And then I will pull this yarn to close the circle. Then take out the marker, insert your hook in this first stitch, of course in the back loop. Then take the two yarns you're going to carry, the light blue and an extra yarn which is also dark blue for me. The second round is really hard because the cord is in the way, so take your time. For this round we will be making two stitches in every stitch, so we will go from 8 stitches to 16. For the next round we will make one stitch in the first stitch, then an increase, then one stitch increase. So we will go from 16 stitches to 24 stitches. One stitch in the first, and then an increase in the second stitch. Put the marker in the first stitch, and then you continue the whole round like this. The top of the bell is now finished. I will cut off the beginning of the two yarns that I am carrying. And the start yarn of the magic circle. I will pull that one more time. And then I will weave it in so these yarns will not bother us again. And cut off the end. From this point on I will be making four rounds with a pattern. There will be no increases anymore. I will make three light stitches, three dark, three light, three dark, and then I will make that swirl around the bell. I will do this off camera. The pattern can be found on my website. I will add a link in the top corner and in the description under the video. I have finished the four rounds with the pattern and I will now make the last round that will be crocheted with the dark blue. Put my marker in. I have now crocheted 18 stitches. I will leave out the light blue yarn and I will keep crocheting over the extra yarn. Five more normal stitches and then one slip stitch. I will cut the yarn I'm crocheting with and the yarn that I'm still carrying. I will leave a tail and I will pull the loop. And I will cut the light blue yarn close to my work. Now you can really see 
the bell. Now I will make the tassel. I will do that off camera. I will use 80 yarns. They are 20 centimeters long. That's 8 inch. If you do not know how to make a tassel, you can check the video in the top right corner or in the description under the video. You do not have to wrap the tassel. When the tassel is finished, you push the bell down over the tassel. Now you can see a difference in shape between the one that's finished and the one here. This one gets smaller in the end. I will do that now. Take the extra yarn I carried and I will pull it. Because it's loose in the stitches, you are able to pull it tight. When you like the shape and you think it's all tight enough, you take the yarn you just pulled and the working yarn of the last stitch and you knot them together. Then you take a needle and you insert the needle under the bell and pull the yarn through. You do the same with the other yarn. Then you pull the yarn a bit, cut really close to your work. And this one also. And then the yarns will disappear in the crocheting. So that is how you make a bell tassel. Thank you for watching.